So we just finished our videos on the American Revolution. And we looked at people and events and battles and things like that that, have, that that had to do with the revolution. But one thing we didn't look at, and we're going to look at now, is that the, the delegates to the Second Continental Congress, they were thinking, as early as 1777, they were thinking, what do we do if we have a new country? What kind of government are we going to have? Now just imagine that. This group of, of men, they had to think about forming a new country. It's a lot to think about. And what they came up with is the Articles of Confederation. The Constitution didn't come till later, till 1787. But as early as 1777, while the fighting was still going on, the Declaration had been read just a year earlier. They were still a long way from independence, but they were thinking, already thinking, and smartly thinking, if we win this thing, we need a new government, what are we going to do? What kind of government are we going to form? So they formed the Articles of Confederation, written in 1777 by the Continental Congress, the Second Continental Congress, and ratified 1781. And even that was before Yorktown. It was before the Treaty of Paris. Two years before the Treaty of Paris. So they were under the Articles of Confederation even before the war ended, and that lasted until 1787. Because while it was born from experience, it was pretty bad. It caused a lot of problems. So we're going to look at how the government was organized under the Articles of Confederation. And we're going to look at the problems caused by the Articles of Confederation. And uh, all of these things are going to lead up to the Constitution in 1787. We'll get there in a later video. But let's go ahead and get started. Our next video is going to be about how the government was organized under the Articles of Confederation.